Y ahora vamos todos a mover la colita. Obviously, part of traveling is being able to try the local food. And we were on the search for something truly authentic. Although there was a lot of spots that we tried and places in between, I'd like to place our focus on three restaurants in particular. Chalupa. 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 it? <laughs> it's really hard to like walk in this humidity. I feel like I'm 500 pounds. We made it! Estoy en La Ropa. So La Ropa is notorious. A giant ship carrying a bunch of clothes crashed offshore and a bunch of clothes washed up. Quita la visita. After playing in the water, we worked up a hunger. So we went to the restaurant that most people had recommended to us since we arrived in Ziwa. La Perla. One of the best known foods in Zihuatanejo is the Peritas, which is kind of like ceviche but without tomato. We should be getting Doritas. We'll find out. This place is very gringo. I don't like the gringo. I want authentic. We want to shit the bed. Well, not really. <laughs> I mean, I don't... Peritas. Got here. First tortillas. Okay, so far, Teresa's have been a hit. I'm doing it with this Hugo Salzana door. Fresh. Just fresh. So the next day, we headed in the opposite direction towards downtown. This area is very lively with soccer games and basketball. It's also where they hold a daily fish market in Ziwa. And I had a hankering for oysters, so we dropped into Garobos to see exactly how fresh the fare would be. So there was a big storm this morning, and they couldn't get oysters until this afternoon. So basically, these bad boys were caught just hours ago. I can't wait to try these oysters. And I'm like, I'm hoping that they're good, but I don't want them to be too good, because then I'm just gonna keep on eating them, and I'm not gonna eat anything else. I'll probably give myself mercury poisoning, because I'm known to do that. Hello. It's fresh. Una el cazuita también. Uh, sí, de todo. Mixto. Mixto. Sí. ¿Cómo le llamo marisco? Uh, con que es diablo. Salsa diablo. Okay. ¿A la salsa diablo? Yep, sí. No. He's worried. No, saca. No, yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, sí. 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 Let's do. Yeah. <laughs> Orale. <laughs> diablo time. Oh, see. Gracias. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's delicious. It's not hot. That's like a back bend. Mm-hmm. No, it's like a deep, like, earthy spice. Like, yeah. almost like... It's like a little... I like a chipotle, but I don't think it's chipotle. No, it's not. Like, um... A little smoky. What do you think? Mm. But it's almost a little sweet. Mm. That's so, we're almost done at Garobos, where we fell in love with the guajillo chili pepper, which is yeah, delicious, smoky and sweet. Okay. Yeah, I get it. I have it at home. I feel like that's also perfect. Though. This is our final morning in Tijuana. Oh, there's Carlos. Hola. Hola, buenos días. You too. So last day in Zihuatanejo, or like half day, we're gonna go get some breakfast at Teresita. I think so. You know, just a little beef house.
Let's see. Let's see about these chilaquiles. They look nice. They look nice. Simple. They got crunch to them? Yes. Good crunch. Is it good? Get the name of Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. It's so delicate. Usually people just blow, oh, blow out of the water.